What's going on YouTube? My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. Welcome to my turf, my court, my playground. What do you say we work on some positioning? Let's go, let's get it. Alright, so we're looking at your shoulder, correct? Yes. Uh, which side are we looking at? Have some right shoulder. Right shoulder. Okay, that's what we have here. All right, great. So uh, we're gonna have you stand over here. Your right shoulder is gonna be in this light field here in that cross here. Your back is gonna be against that board, okay? About right there, yeah, good. I'm gonna slide you over towards me just a little bit more. There you go, hold very still, get everything lined up to your height. You have any questions? No. Go ahead and rotate your palm backwards. Kind of there you go. And you're gonna rotate your palm forward, okay? So I'll tell you, yep. so I'll tell you to rotate your palm forward. Go ahead and rotate it backwards for now. Just like so. Yep. Good. Hold oh, very still there. Go ahead and rotate your palm forward. Now, uh, go ahead and uh, put your hand on your stomach. And then we're going to turn around and face the board. And then we're going to rotate you a little bit more, move your feet with you. There you go. I'm going to slide you over to your left, move your feet with you as well. There you go. Thank you. All right, so we're looking at your shoulder, correct? Yes. Uh, which side are we looking at? I have some right shoulder. Right shoulder, okay, that's what we have here. All right, great. So uh, we're gonna have you stand over here. Your right shoulder is gonna be in this light field here in that cross here. Your back is gonna be against that board, okay? It's very important to give clear directions to your patient. I have told my patient to put his back against the board and roughly the area where I want him to be. Soon, I'll direct him exactly where I want him. I'm gonna slide you over towards me just a little bit more. There you go, hold very still, get everything lined up to your height. I then slide him over to where the vertical crosshair intersects the coracoid process. Then I bring the wah bucky and tube down directly one inch below the coracoid process. I also lightly palpate the clavicle so I don't clip it. Okay. So. Go ahead and rotate your palm backwards. Kind of there you go. And I'm gonna rotate your palm forward, okay? So I'll tell yep. So I'll tell you to rotate your palm forward. Go ahead and rotate it backwards for now. Just like so. Yep. This is a method, if you will, that I developed over time to be more efficient with my exam when it gets busy. I demonstrate to my patient what I need to have him do for the internal and external rotation in the beginning of the exam all at once. Instead of before the internal and then again before the external. Also, saving me a trip back and forth. Go ahead, rotate your palm forward. And now, uh, go ahead and uh, put your hand on your stomach. And then we're gonna turn around and face the board. And then we're gonna rotate you a little bit more, move your feet with you. There you go. I'm gonna slide you over to your left, move your feet with you as well. There you go. I then tell my patient to turn and face the board, then proceed to get him in the angle of my liking, turning my patient from the hips and telling him to move his feet with him. Reason being is because if I just move his upper half, it will begin to return to the starting position, causing rotation and potential repeat. 
I slide him over to where his humanoid head intersects the mid sagittal plane of the wall bucky. This is my pivot point. I then feel for the scapula and pivot the patient to where the central ray will intersect the humeral head and scapula. This position is tricky at times when it comes to collimating. The angle of the patient throws off the light field. But remember, it doesn't change. Look back at your collimation box on the tube for reference on the true collimation. Also, remember with thicker patients, you just need the bone. I will soon go over how to fix your lateral rotation as this is a common repeat. Depending on your facility, I cock the tube so the collimation runs parallel with the Y, eliminating unnecessary scatter and tissue exposure. Alright, we're all done. Thank you. When I evaluate my Y lateral repeat, I look at the humeral head. In this case, the humeral head is too outside the body, which means my patient is too flat. This tells me that I need to rotate my patient more in order to bring the humeral head closer to the Y junction, making for that crisp, sharp Y view. Ooh. Now, the humeral head is too inside the body meaning the patient is too steep. This tells me that I need to get the patient flatter, bringing the humeral head closer to the Y junction, making for the razor sharp Y. Ooh, yes, first positioning video in the books. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. As always, if you found this video informative, if you found it valuable in any type of way, press that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Share this video with fellow classmates. This being my first positioning video. If you have any suggestions on future videos, let me know. I figured the way I did this video would be beneficial for you to see at first take in real time how I get an exam done. And then the second take, kind of break it down and tell you what's going on in my head. And then at the end, go over common repeats and how to fix it. Remember, if you're having trouble, just keep getting reps in. It will get easier in time. I remember when I was scared about the shoulder wide. But now, it's one of my favorite exams to do and the quickest. I also know there are other positions out there for the shoulder, so if you have any questions about those, requests for me to do that, just let me know and I'll get that out for you. But these are my routine views I do at my facility. And we do the other positions if requested by the physician. In the end, everything will be great. If it's not great right now, then it's not the end. If you got greatness within you, I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray and I'll be taking your x-rays. Peace. When you face adversity in life, think about what got you there. Think about all the shit that you've been through. And, uh, you know, that actually prepared you for what you're about to go through, what you're going through right now. I believe God will never give me anything that I can't handle. He, he's already given me the tools. He's already put me through the bullshit, you know, to, to, to get through what I'm about to go through right now. I've been here before. I also believe in the saying, I didn't get this far to get this far. You know what I mean? I've got this far and I'm gonna continue to go far until I get, you know, where I'm trying to go to. You know, basically, you know, never quit, never give up. Um, in the end, everything will be all right. If it's not all right now, then it's not the end. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, hopefully someone out there is going through the same thing, needed to hear it. Um, I had a fellow student, you know, uh, I was talking to her and giving her pep talk because she had second thoughts about, you know, uh, continuing with the, uh, the program. So, so main thing, believe in yourself, be confident in yourself, you know, uh, be confident in everything that you've been through that led up to this point. You got it. You're here. Don't quit now.